Welcome, welcome, welcome to the witch's chamber. I'm so happy that you guys are joining me today. Everybody, we're in some weird energy. <sighs> Listen, don't be surprised if all of a sudden your life gets turned upside down. Don't be surprised if, if a situation that you're dealing with all of a sudden comes out of balance. Okay, that's... That's the energy that I'm picking up on. That's the energy that I started picking up on yesterday. And what's funny, I was wondering, you know, I was wondering why I have been feeling out of sorts. Why I could not get yesterday's reading of the ground. If, by the way, if you guys didn't get a chance to watch yesterday's reading, um, please go ahead and do so. Because there's, there's a message in that reading for someone. And the funny thing is, all this time throughout the reading, I was feeling out of alignment, out of balance. And basically the message that came through that reading did not match how I was feeling. Okay, so this is similar energy that you might be going through. Okay, you might be doing something that you, your body, your internal self is basically repelling. Okay, um... But nevertheless, I have been forced, I've been guided to do that reading. So I was actually happy that I was able to complete it and to finish it. And, and I was wondering all this time, like, where was this whole energy coming from? Why I was feeling out of alignment? What was going on? You know, like I could not even speak yesterday. And, and to be honest, I was, I, you know, I stepped back. And I sit down with this energy and basically the energy that came through was energy of fear and of doubt. So don't be surprised if, if you're about to go through a tower moment where you will be questioning yourself and your sanity, where you will be questioning why <laughs> I feel a certain way. Okay, and I feel like it's because we are just entered the Scorpio season and the Scorpio season is all about upheaval, it's all about endings, it's all about abrupt, abrupt tower moments, you know, happening out of the blue. I'm hearing from Spirit right now, do not make any decisions while in that type of an energy. It's very important. And right as I said, I saw 2.52 on the timestamp. Do not make any rush decisions. Do not make any, any judgments. Okay. It's wise to step back, to close your door, <laughs> you know, and to let it pass. Okay. Because I literally, I feel this storm, stormy energy and it's not chaotic energy and I'm literally in my mind's eye I'm seeing like literally you being on the boat and the boat is shaking and wob wobbling and and we have this current of water you know and this murky water this murky energy and it's not it's not helping basically right how do you feel on a shaky boat you feel unstable you feel unsafe right you feel fear you feel doubt whether or not you this storm will ever pass okay my friend, yes, it will pass, okay? It will pass, and all you need to do is basically step back, don't make any rash decisions. But that's the energy that that we're currently in, okay? So, my friends, what we're going to be doing today is seeing what is coming towards you, what it is that you're not seeing, what it is that you're not aware of besides that chaotic energy okay because i feel like to a certain degree you're go we, all of us will be going through that energy all of us will be feeling that doubt and that fear okay to a certain degree okay so let's see let's see what is coming that we're not seeing What is it that's coming, spirit? 
that we're not seeing and that we need to be aware of. What is it that's coming and that we're not seeing? I'm hearing from spirit surprise. So some sort of a surprise is heading our way. Let's see what this surprise is all about. For some of you, I'm hearing you will be able to finally finish something. Okay. Currently, you're not seeing it. Because I feel the energy of it's like you feel like it's too far away. Okay. So let's see. Illusion. Well, let me tell you, my friends. <laughs> some of you guys, I feel like currently are going through some sort of an illusion. And I'm hearing from spirit. The illusion that you're seeing will be lifted. Okay. You will be seeing clarity. That's what I'm hearing. I feel like currently you are in the sort of a moon energy slash seven of cups. Okay. You are going, you are seeing, so you are seeing things not the way they are. Okay. There's currently a veil over your eyes, my friends, over something currently that's in your life. Okay, this may have to do with your work situation, um, with your family life, with your love life, with your health. But things, I'm hearing from spirit, things are not the way that they seem. And what you're not seeing that's coming is a truth. Okay. It's a surprising, surprising truth. Now, you may have, you may have recently broken a mirror okay you may have seen something in a mirror recently but it's kind of weird when I look when I first glanced at this card today I thought that I'm seeing a broken mirror when I went but when I look closely looked at it this is actually a mirror that's reflecting a tree okay so for some of you guys, right in this message, I'm hearing that you currently may be seeing a situation in, in a bleak energy, so to speak. Like you may feel like the situation is broken, that it can never be fixed, right? Because if you think about a mirror that's broken, that's cracked, you cannot, you cannot really fix it, right? If you think about it. It will always, there will always be a scar. So I feel like you currently might be saying to yourself, the situation is unfixable. Okay, the situation has been broken. There has been an ending. I cannot see the situation being fixed in any way, shape or form. Okay. But while you look closely, closely at this at this mirror, right? There's actually a tree. And what does the tree symbolize? The tree symbolizes growth, my friend. Okay. There's a rebirth. Because see, this tree has no leaves. And what I'm hearing from spirit, there's a rebirth that is happening. And this is something that you're not seeing. There's a regeneration energy. And regeneration is all about the scorpionic energy that we're currently in, my friend. There actually is no broken mirror. There's actually no ending. There's actually no, not something that cannot be fixed. Whatever the situation is for you, this is actually a tree. The mirror is actually not broken, my friend. The tree, yes, it currently has no leaves, but is it, this tree is in a process of regeneration. This tree is about to sprout leaves, okay? So something is coming back to life, my friend. And this is, this is the truth, okay? This is the truth that will be revealed to you. So please take care of what resonates. 
for some of you, you will be hearing a truth from someone's mouth. Okay? This may be a person that you have broken up with. Okay? You may feel like this situation is unfixable. That can This can be a friend. This can be a family member. This can be anybody. But I feel this crow has its mouth open. You're going to be hearing the truth from somebody else's mouth. And it is not what you're thinking, my friend. What you're thinking right now, it's an illusion. It's not the truth. The truth will be revealed to you from somebody else's mouth. You currently may be mirroring this person right as we speak. Okay? You might be dealing with a Scorpio. You might be dealing with a... Oh, you might be dealing with an... This is crazy. This is crazy for some of you. I just noticed for the very first time, this card, on this card, there is a key. Look, my friends, there is a key right here. For some of you, my friends, the truth is you are about to see a key. You're about to receive a key, my friend. For some, you'll be receiving a news about this key. <laughs> There's a door, my friend, that you'll be able to finally open. Okay? And I feel I have men been mentioning this key in the last, second last reading, I believe. There was a vision. We saw a vision in the cup. I feel of a keyhole. And now we're seeing a key. And in the last few readings, we've been channeling, we actually have been seeing the sun shining on your reading. There was a crack. Okay. <laughs> My friend. You may feel right now that you don't have the key to open the door. But now you do. And that's the truth. There's a key right there. And I am seeing it for the very first time. And I, ha I have had this deck for, for a while now. There's some sort of a key that you will be given. For some of you guys, this is a key to your new home. For others of you guys, this is a key to a brand new life, a brand new path that's filled with happiness, with growth. I mentioned that in yesterday's reading where I actually saw a path. Right? For others of you guys, it's, you know, an opportunity for a brand new life, an opportunity for a brand new job. This is a key. This is a, my friend, this is a golden key. This key is gold. And this is what you're not seeing. And literally this key, this key has been there in front of you all this time. See, this crow is not even paying attention to this key. Yes, you might have been in this energy of talking, of saying, talk, telling, telling yourself. It's never going to happen. It's, it's broken. I cannot fix it. I cannot get, get to it. I can, whatever the case may be. There can be many, numerous different scenarios, my friend, when it comes to this energy. Meanwhile, this key has been lying all the, the, on this table all this time, but you have not been paying attention to it. There has been a veil over your eyes, my friend, to number 24 may be of significance. What's today's date? 24th. It's tomorrow. Something for some of you guys, something is going to be revealed. The truth is going to be revealed to you on the 24th. And right, as I said, I saw 14, 14 on the timestamp. Some sort of a truth. A veil is going to drop. And some sort of a truth. You're going to be seeing this truth on the 24th, my friend of the month. This is a timeless reading, by the way. So whenever you happen to see it, that's when you're supposed to be receiving its message. My goodness, the veil will drop from your eyes, my friend. Okay, literally. Let's see. What else? Memory.
some of you guys are literally still stuck in the past, needless to say, okay? I feel like there's someone here who's stuck in the memory of a past person. There's someone that you're reminiscing. Still reminiscing about. I don't feel like you guys are together. I'm going to be honest. It's a long gone memory, but you're still living in the memory. And you know what? You might be living, living an illusion. You might be portraying, you might be visualizing, you might create, be creating memory, false memories I'm hearing. Okay? You need to draw, there's some sort of a truth that will be revealed to you, my friend, when it comes to your past. Okay? For some of you, I'm hearing it's like you don't understand why something happened the way that it did. And you have been justifying to yourself that this is that this is such and such reason why such and such thing has happened. Meanwhile, it that's not the truth. That's not exactly what happened. And I feel like this truth, my friend, whoever you are, is going to be revealed to you. Okay. <clears throat> you may have shared a home with this person, but I feel like you have moved or this person has moved. For some of you guys, you what you are not realizing is you have somebody coming back from the past. Okay? Somebody that you have considered to be a memory. This person is coming back to speak and to reveal some sort of a truth to you. Okay? This can be anybody. But there's something about a home, there's something about stability that you have been thinking about. And I'm being drawn to the trash can here. You may be feeling currently that this person has treated you like trash. You know? Meanwhile, there's something that is hidden from you that's going to come to light. Because there's something, there's some sort of a falsity. Okay? You don't know the whole truth. Something is still hidden from you, my friend. Okay? For others of you guys, I'm hearing, don't let the past haunt you. Okay? Do not. Right? As I said, I saw 1818 on the timestamp. Don't let the past haunt you. Because these people, these memories are already gone. You know? Do not live in the past, my friend. It is time to let the past go. We are in a Scorpio season. Scorpio is all about death or about endings. You need to, some of you guys need to let go of your past. Especially if it's a past that has been unhealthy for you. Okay. Maybe a very toxic home environment. Toxic person that you have been dealing with. Something that needs to be put in the trash. Okay. What else? Resistance. Some of you guys are refusing to let go of the flow. I was picking up, I was mentioning this energy, I believe in the last reading, if I don't, if I remember correctly. You are going against the current, okay? You're trying to go against the natural flow of the energy that you're in. This is actually the energy that I was embodying yesterday I mentioned it you know at the beginning of this reading it's like I was forced you know to do this reading pretty much yesterday's reading I mean but right up deep inside I knew that I 
shouldn't, you know. This is that resistance. Do not resist the natural flow of energy. Do not go against the current. There's a clash of energy. This is an imbalance of energies, my friend. I feel like you're resisting something. Something maybe that has to do with your past. You're resist For some of you guys I'm hearing, it's like you're resisting to accept some sort of a truth. You're resisting. You're going against the flow. It's like, I feel like there's someone watching here and it's like you're saying, this is the way it is. And that's it. You need to be more open, my friend. Especially with, when dealing with other individuals. Okay? Be open to their ideas, to their opinions. Especially if you're working on some sort of a project. If you're coming together for the highest good of all. Okay? Do not be stubborn and say, okay, this is how it is. This is how it has to be and that's it. No. No, 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 my friend. Do not resist the opinions, okay, and the thoughts of other people. Also, do not resist your true self, okay? Because for some of you guys, I'm hearing it's like you're resisting your true self. And I feel like this is the truth that's going to come to light. This is what you're going to realize, right? As I'm saying that, I'm literally glancing outside and there's a sun peeking through. And this is a sun is a big yes. Spirit told me to grab one more. So let's go. Distance. Something is a distant memory, my friend. Mm -hmm. Something is a distant memory. And you need to let that go. This is for someone. Some of you guys, I feel like you're very nostalgic about something, someone uh, that's living at a distance from you. There's a lot of reminiscing for someone here. There's something about the word, the words A, or should I say letters, A and C, E, because both of them are repeated. Ends, ends. Stance. Is, is tense. Is tense. Is tense. In, is tense is repeated. Something about instance. I'm hearing something is going to happen at an instant instance instance interesting you are mirroring something or someone my friend this is mirrored energy instance yes the beginning is different okay but the last few letters actually quite a few are the same you're mirroring something or someone, okay? Whatever you're telling yourself, my friend, whatever you're telling yourself in the mirror, that energy is reflected back onto you, okay? And you get my point here. If it's all, if you're telling yourself good things, that's wonderful. But, but what if you're telling yourself negative things, <laughs> you know? Negative things come back to you, my friend, and you don't want that, okay? Put them off as a distant memory because you don't need an, any more negativity or you don't need negativity in your life, you know? Seriously, there's already enough negativity out there in the world on the news, on the media, you know? Seriously, you don't need any more. Distance yourself from that energy, I'm 
also picking up the energy that someone who is currently at a distance from you. With whom you shared some sort of a history with. They're reminiscing about you. They're thinking about you. I feel like this person has been resisting something. Resisting, admitting something to you. Facing you. This person, I feel, has been going against the flow of the energy. Against the flow of the current. Look at this energy. Literally. Wind blowing in this crow's face and this crow's body. If you need to distance yourself, my friend, from a situation that you have been dealing with, okay? This is also what I'm hearing. Do not resist it, okay? Because you have the strength to overcome the obstacles. That's what I'm hearing. The obstacle being the wind. You may be feeling like a wind has been blowing in your face. Okay? But let me tell you, for others of you, for others of us, who may have been going through this unbalanced energy like I was going through yesterday, do not resist it. Distance yourself. You know, don't make any rash decisions. Stay indoors and just let it pass. Okay? Interesting. Interesting, interesting energy, my friends. Okay? Do not resist the truth. Okay? Because the truth, my friend, will be revealed to you. This is, this is the energy right now. Okay. The truth will be revealed to you and you will be able to literally distance yourself from the illusions that you might be in. Okay. But there's something that is hidden from you with the illusion card, that's for sure. And you don't know something, my friend. Okay. So let's see. Let's get some more details. Okay. Pertaining to this energy. Let's see. <clears throat> For those of you guys that are new, by the way, this is um, this is my own creation. Okay, it's called the Witch's Chamber Board. Okay. Um, now I have been guided by spirit to create this board, and I have literally been guiding by spirit to fill all these squares. You know, by what you're seeing in front of you. Okay. So I, I feel like somebody really wanted to see it up close. So there you go. Okay. Anyhow, you'll be, I'm hearing from spirit. You will be seeing something up close, my friend. Okay. Seriously. It will be staring in your face. And this is the energy that I was mentioning, I believe, in yesterday's reading. If I'm not mistaken. Okay. But I mean, seriously, everyone, I am in a totally different energy today. So again... Don't be surprised if all of a sudden there's a tower that's going to come and literally knock you off your feet, okay? Whether good or bad, okay? Just let it pass, okay? You may not understand what's going on. You might be very confused. Um, you might be very fearful. I don't know why I'm repeating myself, but I feel like somebody really, really needs to, needs to hear it, okay? I don't know. Anyhow, spirit. What is coming that we're not seeing? Give us some more details, some more energy, please. And thank you, spirit. Spirit, spirit, spirit. Wow. Hmm. Listen, whatever you have been tied to, okay? Whatever that may can be, person, situation, or a thing, the string you will be untied from that situation my friend, and I feel like it's a good thing. And let me tell you, my friends, what has been literally stuck, okay, to this, whatever you want to call it, was actually this charm here, okay? Look at this. What do you see? You see a skull? 
I have been actually channeling a skull. And I believe I have mentioned it in yesterday's reading. I can't quite remember. Anyhow. You're becoming unstuck. Okay. From this ribbon. From this thread. Okay. You're becoming unstuck. Something is ending. We see a skull here. Okay. For some of you guys, this is an ending to in abundance. There's an ending to no abundance. Okay? Because literally, if you look at it, right, you see the skeleton of a fish. This is what's ending. Fish talks about prosperity, talks about abundance, talks about financial success. Okay? You're being untied from some sort of a difficult financial situation, my friend. You're being released from that energy. Okay. Hallelujah and amen to that. Okay. Seriously. You're releasing that. Now, you'll be seeing something clearly. Look at this charm. See how it shines? <laughs> Something is going. Some sort of a light will be shine, shown on your situation. My friend, what you're not seeing that's happening. Again, you're being released from some sort of a situation. I feel like this release is coming from spirit. Because it's time, it's divine justice is being brought back to your life, my friend. We see the scissors here, okay? And I feel like because has landed on spirit, I feel like spirit is cutting you off from some sort of a difficult attachment, okay? And the scissors are pointing towards number zero, number zeros. Talk about literally starting something from scratch, starting from zero, starting from nothing, my friend. Okay, there's some sort of a cutting that spirit is about to do. There's a release happening and you're being given an opportunity, my friend, to start something from nothing, start something from zero. For those of you guys thinking that you are alone in a situation, okay, you are not alone alone. Why am I saying this? Look at this charm right here. Okay. You know what's depicting? You know what's on it? Virgin Mary. Okay. You are very protected. Doesn't matter if you believe in Virgin Mary or not. That's not the point here. Okay. I feel like you are very protected and this Mary has landed on number three. You are not alone, my friend. You are being protected. Okay. For some of you guys, you are being protected against a third party situation. You may not even realize it. Okay. You are about to reap harvest. There's for some of you guys, what you're not seeing is that there's a big celebration heading your way. And right as I'm saying that, I'm literally glancing on the love square. For some of you guys, there's a love offer heading your way from a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody is going to be speaking to you. You might be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All the signs are on the board, my friend. Okay. There's a big change. Okay. Look. Look on the square here. There's a big change, my friend. For some of you, it has to do with your health. There's a big change heading your way. There's growth happening. What do you see when you look at this image? I'm seeing this literally as a flower. See the petals here? And see, see the bud? Yes, my friend, there's growth. Okay? There's growth happening. There's change happening when it comes to your health for some of you. For others of you guys, there's a major change happening. Period. For some of you guys, what you're not seeing is you're going to be receiving wisdom guidance. You see that owl charm here, okay? 
owls talk about wisdom, talk about intelligence, and it landed from on on as the zeros on the zero scores, which, which tells me that some of you guys will be educating yourself, will be starting some something new, will be educating yourself on some sort of a new subject. I'm hearing, okay. For others of you guys, there's an enlightenment happening and you're going to be like, wow, there's this wisdom that's going to literally embody you. And you're going to be in this energy, really. Because you have released something, my friend. That's why you're getting this knowledge. Seriously. For some of you guys, what you're not seeing... What you're not realizing, my friend. Okay. There's a clarity that's going to come to you. That you're dealing with a wolf. Okay. This can be anybody. Because this wolf has literally been turned over. And it fell number two. I feel like for a lot of you. It has to do with some sort of a romantic relationship. You're about to deal with. There's a wolf that's going to reveal its themselves to you, I want to say. They had their back to you. They have been, they have, you know, their body turned to you up until now. They're about to reveal themselves to you. This may be a Virgo. They may have been literally a lonely wolf. They are a lonely wolf. And I feel like this person wants to start something with you. Okay, but I feel like this person really doesn't, doesn't really know how to tell you that, I'm going to be honest. They want to start something with you and I feel like it has to do with relationship, I feel like it has to do with home. This person may be, literally, like I said, Taurus, like I said, Virgo and I'm seeing Taurus or Capricorn, this person is very stable. This person has been doing everything by themselves. I'm hearing. For some of you guys, you already know who I'm talking about. This person may have gone cold on you. Okay. You may have met this person in winter season. Okay. December, January, February. What else will be revealed to you? It's really interesting that we have two charms and they literally flipped, but you know, on the opposite side. It's all about timing. Okay. 5 to 12 it's time it's time it's this clock my friends reminds me of um, the Cinderella story you know there's still time for something to happen you may have felt like something is, has run its course that it's you know it cannot possibly happen there's time it's all about divine timing. You may feel like something has ended, something is over, right? Because if you think about it, when the clock strikes 12 in the Cinderella story, right? Everything goes back to normal. This is what you may have thought, but that's not the case, my friend. You know, it's only the beginning. The clock starts now. The clock has not ended. The clock is being revealed to you, my friend. It's all about time. It's about, and I'm hearing from Spirit right now, it's time, it's about time that you're going to hear from Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody's stable. Somebody is, uh, is going to show its face and I feel like it's this wolf, okay? Seriously. Hmm? You're going to be, this whole situation, my friend, is going to, first of all, it's going to put things in motion, okay, because it's the right time, and you're going to be very happy. This is, this is a rabbit. Rabbit talks about brand new beginnings, okay, and this rabbit is literally dancing. You're going to be dancing because a brand new of an off, I feel like an offer is coming your way, my friend, and this is what you're not seeing. Some sort of an offer is coming in. Has to do with time. May it come from Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay. You may have been waiting for this offer since Je December, January, February. For some of you. 
You may have been left out in the cold for all we know. My friend, happiness. This situation is going to, first of all, put things in motion. And it's going to bring you a lot of happiness. There's a lot of things going on on this board, okay? <laughs> Let's see. Let's continue. <coughs> so we have covered this part here. Now. In the second last reading, I mentioned this, the sun and the stars. And I feel like this is that energy. Someone is about to be very, very lucky. For someone here, what you're not realizing is your wish is coming true. Okay, see the clover leaf. You're about to be very lucky. You might be an Aquarius. What does this look like? Does this look like a, some sort of an animal? A duck, maybe? See? Interesting. I'm just trying to figure out what this can represent. Seeing a duck, some sort of a bird. There's communication heading your way, my friend. Okay? Maybe from an Aquarius. That's going to make you feel very lucky. Whatever this enlightenment is, whatever this clarity is. I feel like it's coming from a, from a masculine. Okay? Some of you guys, this person, I feel. Yes, and look what's funny. I mentioned a bird, right? I mentioned a bird a second ago. And right as I'm glancing, right now, look at this charm. It was actually turned the opposite way. Seeing a bird. So this is a confirmation. There is a message heading your way. Okay. From, I feel like it's coming from far away. Why am I saying it? Because I'm seeing a safety. Safety circle. Right? Talks about this person maybe living overseas. Okay. I feel like there's a distance between you and this person. With the bird being here, I feel like it's communication heading your way. This is something that you're not seeing. So remember this bird landed on this moon card. This is something that's hidden from you. What's hidden from you? What you don't know about, my friend. What's unknown. This person is going to be sending you music. See the music note here. This person may be a musician. For some of you guys, what you don't see coming, what you're not aware of, you're going to be invited to some sort of a music and a dinner, I'm hearing. You're going to be hearing some sort of a music. You're going to be eating something. See the spoon here. Okay? This is what you're not aware of. You might be dealing with a cook. You may be dealing with a musician. It's not going to be for everybody, of course. But I feel like for whom it applies to, I feel like you're going to be invited to eat and to listen to music. There's a date heading your way, my friend. And this is not worth something that you're seeing, definitely. Okay? Some of you guys I'm hearing, it's like you're going to be educating yourself on how to cook. How to cook a new meal. So I'm seeing like a head of a person here. And they're sitting and they're examining something. Okay. And literally this, this image literally fell, fell number one. You'll be focusing on something that's going to be not your number one priority. And please take it how it resonates, but that's what I'm hearing. You're going to be making something your number one priority. And I'm also hearing from Spirit, someone else is going to ma be making you their priority. They're going to be focusing on you. There will be no more bread cramming. There's an ending to a cut situation. Okay, 
And what that what do cat what do cats do? Right? If they're not an indoor cat, they tend to wander around at night. This is coming to an end. Okay. There's an end coming to wandering in the night, wandering in the shadows, wandering, you know, in the night and not being able to see anything. It's coming to an end. Okay. You might be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You might be dealing with that sign. What do we have here? There's a cycle that's coming to an end that has started in summer. Okay. Might be dealing with someone whose name starts with J. We have an R here. Okay. We also have A. But some sort of a cycle, my friend, is ending. Some of you guys, what you're not seeing is actually you're going to be graduating from some sort of a medical field. And this is this may be something that you're currently not seeing. You may be thinking, oh my goodness, I have so many subjects that I need to do. I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish it, blah, blah, blah. You know, you currently might be, you know, attending school, attending medical school. You'll be able, my friend, to finish it. Seriously. It's coming to an end. Something for some of you guys, something that you have started in the summer. Maybe some sort of a medically related course. I don't know. Some of you guys will be saying it's end. It's the end to Rx. Okay. R is my X and it's the end. Some of you guys will be saying a goodbye to someone whose name starts with the letter R. Okay. This person is going to be becoming your ex. Literally. Now, some of you guys have been literally stuck in a loop, in a very stagnant situation. You'll be rescued. This is a rescue wheel. You'll be rescued from a stagnant and stale situation. And this is the energy that I was mentioning, right? With the ribbon. It's coming to an end, my friend. What else do we have here? Interesting. What you're not seeing, my friend. You're about to receive a present with the bow here. Some sort of a wish again. I'm hearing the word wish. For some of you guys, this wish, and I feel like it's coming from spirit because all of it has landed on number seven, and number seven is a very spiritual number. Okay. Um, for some of you guys, we see a feather here. Okay. Some of you guys will be receiving a message, will be receiving a letter, will be receiving a present, will be receiving a wish fulfillment. For someone that you have wished for. We see a skull. You might be dealing with a Scorpio. For some of you. This may sound as an irony. But there's an ending that's coming. And this is literally like a gift from spirit. Okay. And this is what. This is something that you're not seeing. Some, some sort of an ending that you have been wishing for is coming. And Spirit is bringing that gift to you. Something that you have maybe have not been able to finish. Because you did not have the strength, the courage, whatever the situation. This is coming to an end, my friend. Okay. Interesting. Let's see what's happening with your career and your finances. Oh, you will be wearing your horns, my friend. Yes, you are. Yes, you will be. You may not realize it yet. <laughs> wow. Look at this charm. Literally, this deer, this back head has literally fallen on the career and finances. You will be taking charge of your finances and your career. You will be the one in charge, my friend. And this is something what you may not be realizing currently. This looks like a teardrop. 
You'll be shown a way I'm hearing from spirit. Some of you guys, what you're not realizing is you're going to be dealing with a boss figure. Okay? You'll be writing something, I'm hearing. You'll be writing something. That's going to bring you tears. Because I'm literally seeing this as a teardrop. Interesting. I'm, I'm hearing from spirit. It's like you're leaving the tears behind. You're leaving the tears behind. You are holding your head up high. And you're leaving the tears behind. Okay. And right as I'm looking at this image now, something that you have been sitting on for quite some time. For some of you guys, something that has brought your, brought your tea tears in the past. There's going to be no more tears. Interesting. And this is something, this is something that you're not seeing, my friend. Is there anything else? But see, seeing an image of someone sitting here, right? Again, looking at something. Now you see another, I see an image of a person, head, body, looking at something. You'll be educating yourself, my friend. You'll be gaining some sort of a wisdom. Interesting. Wow. All right, my friends, listen, I'm going to leave, leave it here. I'm hoping that this message have reson messages have resonated with you guys. If they have, okay, and if you're still watching, please click on that like button, okay, because that's really going to help to spread this this um this reading around okay because remember like i always say there's only a limited amount of people that will be have the opportunity to view this reading seriously with the things that have been going on on youtube it's 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 absolutely crazy and i'm not going to be discussing these things but um but we have to do whatever we have to do in order to, you know, to help one another, if you know what I mean. Okay. So thank you guys so, so much. I'm sending you guys peace, love and abundance. All the best. Health and wealth. Okay. Hang in there. Okay. Hang in there. <laughs> you know, um, whoever you are, whoever is going currently through this chaotic energy. Um, hang in there, hang in there, okay, hang in there, <laughs> okay, thank you guys again, and I'm wishing you guys peace, love, and abundance, all the best, health, and wealth, there's going to be a reason you're going to be clapping some, about something, okay, there's something about clapping, anyhow, guys, um, yes, I'm going to talk to you very soon, thank you so much, take care, and bye.